So I was browsing the internet one of these days when I found this picture. Obviously I thought that's really adorable and went to look for the source and boy am I happy that I did. This is a page from Taisho Otome Otogibanashi, which roughly translates to Taisho Era Made in Fairy Tale, a romance manga that was published back in 2015. It follows the story of Tamahiko, a 17 year old boy born into a rich family in early 20th century Japan. He got involved in a car accident at an early age which caused him to lose function of his right arm. His father, being a very serious businessman, decided that he had no use for a crippled son, so he sent him to a recluse mansion near the countryside essentially to get him out of the family's way. This causes Tamahiko to become a shut-in and to start losing his will to live. Everything changes though when Yuzu, a 14-year-old girl who was bought by his father to serve as his future wife, arrives at his doorstep. Yuzu is a very bright, cheerful girl who takes his side and helps him regain the will to live and to find a purpose despite of his disability. Now, maybe you're thinking that this is where I'm adding a but and talking about a crazy turn that the story takes, but really that's about it. It's the lighthearted manga with a classic story about the power of love and how it can heal someone and give them a reason to live. Despite the simple premise, the manga stands out by having lots of interesting side characters and a slow burn style character development, as the story spans a few years and you get to see them growing from learning to live with each other to not being able to live in any other way. I also want to make it clear that this is not a pure slice of life manga where nothing ever happens, the story is properly structured in arcs and it's always moving forward. It does have some dramatic points here and there, especially towards the end, but everything is satisfyingly resolved in a way that furthers the characters' relationships and doesn't leave you angry at them for being unable to solve basic misunderstandings. If I were to pick an overall theme for this manga, I think it's about learning to allow yourself to be happy, as it's something that not only the main character, but also some of the side characters struggle with in their own ways. Another interesting aspect about this is that the manga is set in the 20th century, so it has a lot of cool trivia about how life in Japan was back then, and it even uses some important historical events as plot points, so if you're into this historical side of things, you'll also find some enjoyment there. Really, I just wanted to make a video about it because I really liked it, and if you're anything like me, you'll probably like it too. It's very diabetes inducing, the art is as cute as the characters, it has a good narrative, and with a finished storyline at 38 chapters, I strongly suggest giving it a try. It hasn't been officially translated, but it does have a complete fan translation, which I'm sure you can find by using your favorite search engine. Also, you might have thought that I was going to go through this entire video without talking about voice acting since this is a manga and all, but you'd be wrong. This is very likely never getting an anime adaptation since it's already finished and wasn't very popular to begin with as far as I can tell. But if it did get an anime adaptation, I wish Yuzu was voiced by Kono Misaki doing her Serata voice from Log Horizon. I really have no reason for this, it's just how I imagine her sounding like. Overall, I'd recommend this manga for fans of romance, character-driven storylines and period pieces. It's a great little story that will hopefully put a smile on your face. As always, if you liked this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.